Hello everybody, it's Free Sky Steve. Welcome back to another quick tip. This time we're talking about how you can effortlessly, and I do mean effortlessly, install Lewis Grips, download them from the internet, put them onto your computer, and then put them onto your radio without you having to get go back to night school and get a master's degree in computer science. In fact, this is going to be so simple that I wish we had done this two years ago, but I am so thankful that we do have this. First of all, what are Lewis scripts and why are they important? Um, essentially, when you think about your smartphone, you, you buy it and it's a, maybe an Android or a iPhone, and you're not really buying it for the stuff that comes with the phone. Usually, the first thing you do is you go to the Play Store or the was the Apple Store and you start finding some of your favorite third-party apps so maybe they are news related maybe they're utilities like calculators and maybe they're things for like weather reports so a lot of different things you can download for free it makes your phone that much more versatile and that much more of a tool that you can rely on and Essentially, we have the same thing that we work with when it comes to working with Ethos. There are things that are developed inside of Ethos, and that's everything that you download here in the Ethos Suite. As you can see, I've updated the firmware and all of this. This is part of Ethos, but there are things that get developed outside of Ethos, and what we had to do is we had to put things create something called the Lewis script for stabilized receivers because those were developed out of the sync cycle for developing ethos so essentially what it is is there's another team that works on and their hardware team inside of FreeSky that works on things like uh, stabilized receivers and they are responsible for coming up for the code to make it work inside the transmitter and essentially, at some point, we are going to give them, um, the Ethos developers, the permanent code for working with the stabilized receivers. And this will all be done inside the Ethos, but for right now, it's not happening. So that's one thing that we work on. There's also some third-party Lewis scripts. Uh, Lior from Israel, who is our team pilot, has uh, Zavionics, which are these amazing scripts for turbine jets and, and people they're so good that people have bought the radio system just to use these scripts they're just phenomenal so he's developed them himself and he gets them away for free and he sells some of the sensors you need for to make it work uh for a very nominal price so thank you leor for that and there's gonna be a lot more of this i do mean a lot more of this coming up in the next year to two years you're going to start seeing a lot more third party uh lewis scripts and some of these things will be free and some of these might have a small nominal charge for them and it's going to be amazing because it's going to give us the or us as the pilots i should say the ability to have a lot more tools at our disposal and we don't have to rely on one team of people working at free sky to make these tools they're made by other people a lot of times fellow enthusiasts who just happen to have a um, few extra brain cells to know how to do these things and we do thank you them for their contributions as well so when it comes to the Lewis script for stabilized receiver, this was number one nightmare I think that I had to deal with because we had a whole slew of stabilized receivers and everyone wanted them. They bought them and they're like, what do I mean? What do you mean I have to install a Lewis script? What's that? Where does it go? How do you do with it? And after a while, it became so cumbersome that I just told people, hey, let me remote desktop into your computer and just install these things for you. But now you don't have to do this anymore because you could do this yourself and it's so easy. What I did was inside of the document that I wrote for the stabilized receiver guide, I just went to the thing where I downloaded the latest Lewis script for the stabilized receivers. I think it was 2.06 and I just hit download. And on a PC, it uh, by default it goes into a directory called downloads 
And so all I've done is put it there. It's a zip file. It's still compressed. And what do we do from this point on? So let me show you how simple it is. There's a new section or somewhat of a new section here. This is Lua Development Tools. This actually has been around for a while, but this right here is new. Install Lua Scripts. So I'm going to show this to you, but there's going to be something that pops out that's part of the Windows operating system that you will not be able to see. I'm sorry to say, uh, describe what it is. I'm going to hit this open zip. And what I've did is I've navigated to my downloads directory and I found this Free Sky Stab RX 2.06 zip file. And all I've done is highlight it and select open. Now you can see the rest of this. You can see that it said found the following Lewis scripts. And what this is telling you is that they're going to name directories based on all three of these things. I want to hit select all and I want to select install Lewis scripts. And what it has done in a matter of less than a second is it's created a directory called scripts and it's put it's unzipped the file and put all three of those directories inside the scripts folder. And you didn't have to do any of it, or I didn't have to do any of it. It just did it for me automatically. So this is absolutely brilliant. This is the kind of stuff that I really wanted to see FreeSky do. This is making somewhat sophisticated computer technology a lot easier for the, the average pilot to get their hands on and appreciate. So with that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, have a great day and thanks for watching.